Hey guys, Wedgerox here from Rocket League Mods. This is going to be part two of my tutorial series of how to get up and started with UDK and Rocket League modding. So in this tutorial we're going to go through some brushes and blocking volumes. So first off, to create a brush, you click on the shape you want in the right over here. So we don't use the cube because if you use the cube it'll rotate it. So if you try to make a rectangular object it'll change the rotation and it makes it go all weird. So instead of using that we can use this. So this one here is a, well it's called a cylinder. If you right click it you can get the brush, brush builder options. So increasing the Z will change the height of it. The outer radius will mean how far away it is. So how big it gets. So if I go 10, 24 it's a lot bigger. So if I change the sides um, I usually don't change the sides. I'll usually just change it manually to make it any other shape. So if you click hollow you can also make the middle part of it hollow. So that's pretty cool. Um, if I click build, it'll keep this shape. So I can sorry, I can move this around and place it wherever I want and when I want to I can create things with it. So if I click CSG add, control A, this will create this. So right now, this is just graphics. You can't collide with it or anything like that. So what you do next is you go to Volumes, Add Volume, Blocking Volume. So that will make sure that you hit into it. Right, that's all well and good. So if I wanted to create a square uh, plane or a square shape, I'd move this for starters. And I'd use this tool up in the top left, Geometry Mode. So I can just put this to the side. If I select this side, move it in, I can create something more like a rectangle. You see? Rectangle. I'll move this one more in. There we go. So this creates some weird sides. Um, I usually just ignore it and it works. So if you if you now apply exit it should keep it that way. There you go. I'm not sure what scaling would do. Yep, see, it keeps the shape, which is good. And then you can do whatever you want with it after that. So that's my that's how I do my rectangular shapes. So say I wanted to then make it a bit shorter. I can just do that. Right, you select the shapes. And then once you've done this, you can then go on to create any type of shape you want, really. If you go into volumes, blocking volume, you see it didn't create any graphics. You'll still hit into this, but it doesn't create any graphics with it. To do that, you have to do CSG add. Now, if you look there, anytime there's a line, like an edge, it'll change the, they're called UVs. So that's why it looks really weird and changes all the time. So most of the time you don't really care, so it doesn't really matter. But if you do care, then you have to figure something out. <laughs> um, so now that you have this, it's important to understand that with your these kind of things with our brush builders that's what it's called and the CSG we don't want to use subtract or the intersection anything like that so instead you're gonna to have to just delete it recreate your shape so to delete it you go into your view browser windows sorry and then scene so inside here blocking volumes you can see and you can see brushes so if I delete this brush it's still there in the view, and if I delete this brush, it's still there in the view. But when I build my level, it's going to disappear. right? And if I delete my blocking volumes, they disappear altogether. So, that means that when you want to change your CSG, constructs, Constructive Solid Geometry is what it means, so basically all the stuff you can see, you just have to delete it, recreate it, and then build your scene. If you do it another way, you'll end up with things like having... So say I wanted to do CSG add, it will create it, and then unfortunately, if you do CSG subtract, it'll look like it's gone, but inside your scene, it'll actually have CSG subtract as an actor. So that basically just uses up more memory, all that kind of stuff, so there's no need to do that, so we do it a different way. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to control Z because I don't want that anymore. 
So it's important to have this a light mass importance volume. Anything inside of this box will be lit up with the lighting. If you don't have the light mass importance volume, it won't light it up. So that's super important. And another very important thing is to have a light. And I also have a skybox. I'm pretty sure this is the light. Yeah. So that's it for this tutorial. Join me again next time.